day of the derby. Yeah. We already fixed her with the backhoe. This side took a good punishing. So we got the back end crunched all back down, right? Can you take that plastic off there give us a better idea? This dyro or whatever it is. Got her banged out. I guess I'm going to need a new rim there. She's pretty wampus. The axle's not broke. It's the rim. Mashed her all back out. Oh, it needs reinforcing, but this side stayed nice. Needs reinforcing. <laughs> but we'll make her work again. She's good for another. Yes, sir. Well, it's fall. It's uh, November 2nd. And it's basically the end of the year for everything. Derby season and whatnot. This year I got into it late. I only did one derby. And it was the six cylinder class in Comber. And I took this car in it and uh, we had a dry shaft problem. The yoke split and uh, dry shaft fell out. So that was shitty. And that was the end of this car. I got third. But I have plans on using her again. I uh, flattened out the ass end. And uh, it needs a little tweaks here and there to make it strong again in the ass end. Uh, other than that, a little bit of welding, a little bit of shit. I gotta get the, because right now I had to empty out all the uh, well, antifreeze, because they don't allow that in derbies. Everybody knows that. Uh, so today, before it freezes here in cold ass Canada, I'm gonna do a cold start, because it's about 30. Five today it's almost freezing it's freaking cold I'm gonna do a cold start we'll see if it starts it hasn't been run since the derby day which was back in uh, August so three months I don't know it's been sitting six cylinder Chrysler Velari I gotta climb my ass in there and then uh, we'll have a little fire up okay well I uh, pried the hood up and I took the rad cap off you can probably see it over there uh, so when she gets warm I'm gonna see its water start bubbling out of there because the rad I'm using doesn't have a drain screw thingy in it and uh, I don't want to take the hose off because it's too cold to do all that shit and I'm just gonna warm it up and hopefully it bubbles over we'll just have to see but we'll need some pumpage and the key don't work, it's uh, all disconnected. So I got, my yellow is my fan. It still works. And the red and the black, turn it over. So we'll pump it, it's carbureted. And we'll see if she goes. Shit, what am I not doing right here? All these wires are connected. That's right, that's right, that's right. Remember these fucking Chrysler's got so many things. Nope, just a matter of pumpage. Oh, there we go. She likes the pumpage. Cold doesn't like the rev. She don't like that at all. Fires right up though. It did run good. It never stalled once in the derby which made me happy so 
basically the view out back I got it all crushed down with the backhoe so uh, I can see again because that trunk was touching the roof up there <laughs> well it sounds like we got a miss Hasn't run in three months, been sitting out in the friggin' rain and shit. This door got pushed in pretty good. I mean, that used to be a half a foot further that way. This door's fine, as it should be. Driver's door. We weren't allowed to hit that in this derby. Front end is solid as frig didn't take too many hits on the front end. Next derby will be basically all front end hits. Still too cold. Oh, might as well climb out. 